What's up you guys, it's Jose Sneaker from Teaching Men's Fashion and for today, I have a new sneaker. So I feel that this is probably the best running and athleisure sneaker out there. And of course you probably already saw the thumbnail and I'm talking about the Adidas NMDs. Now the Adidas NMDs has to probably be one of the most popular shoes Adidas has released lately. It's highly coveted and I've been debating or I've been wanting to get a pair for the longest but it seems like every time I go to a store or even look online to buy them, they're always sold out. So I finally decided, I was like, screw it, I'm gonna go second hand. I went on eBay, I paid a premium, which was I was a little bit mad about, but I finally got myself a pair of NMDs. Now, one thing that I really like about the NMDs is that they have a very structured, nicely structured design that unlike other running sneakers, it makes it a perfect athleisure shoe. And that's why I said, it's my favorite both running and athleisure shoot right that I have ever owned. And it's really that versatility that I was looking for in my sneak in my shoe collection. I really don't have a, an athletic sneaker that I can just wear more casually. So that's why I really wanted to pick this one up in particular. Now, one very key feature of Adidas NMDs is their boost technology. This is a groundbreaking development process created by Adidas where solid granular material is blown up literally and turned into thousands of small energy capsules. So in simple terms, you can walk in these shoes for miles. I mean, they're super comfortable. These have to be the most comfortable sneakers that I've owned to date. And that's all because of that Boost technology and that midsole is what makes this NMD so iconic. That plus the color block solids on the side as well. Now, this specific model that I picked up is a seasonal model. I didn't want to go for something that everybody, everybody has, because obviously everybody has the white ones, the black ones, so I wanted something a little bit different. So I went with the seasonal model, which they just dropped. I believe they dropped it last month, around November 3rd. And this is their wolf felt model. So this is a dark gray wolf felt, which is perfect for the winter month months it's gonna keep you warm so I'm really digging this model and I really like the three stripe logo on the side I like the tonal colors of it now the great thing about this is like I was saying is that I wanted a versatile athletic sneaker and that's why I picked it up and I'm currently in love with these I'm probably gonna be wearing them all the time but I could wear these you know with a pair of nice joggers and a t-shirt or even a hoodie and I'll look good you know for almost any type of athletes or situation if I'm going to Panera or to a coffee shop or just something very simple like running around chores this is a perfect sneaker to do that and to look really nicely dressed up of course it's a perfect running sneaker but I'm looking at it more from the style perspective on the other hand you can also dress it up even a little bit more so if you don't want to look too much like you're going to the gym you can pair these with jeans you can pair these with chinos make sure that the jeans or chinos you get are nicely tapered at the bottom so you really highlight the sneaker this is not a sneaker that you can really wear with any like wider cut pants you want to really highlight the sneaker so go with a chino or a jean and go for a pinup roll if, you're, if your jeans are kind of loose in the bottom and you haven't tailored them. But it's a perfect sneaker to pair with that. It's a casual look, but you still look almost athletic and trendy. So I really am digging the versatility of these. And I think it's probably one of my favorite sneakers that I own right now. Now for the sucky part, and that's the price. So retail price, I believe the Prime Knits sell for 170, which those are the ones that I really wanted. I wanted the sand color. Couldn't get my hands on it. Like I said, they retail for 170, but the markup on them secondhand is like $300, which I was not gonna pay for. And then the regular mesh ones just go for 120. That's retail. And I paid for these secondhand, I paid 164, I wanna say. So I paid around 40 bucks on top of retail. Not sure still if it was worth it. Hopefully it is in the long run, but I didn't pay that much above, so I wasn't too mad about it. But that's the only sucky part with these. Since they're so popular and coveted, they're very hard to obtain. And your best bets are usually to go secondhand market on them. So other than that, I really have no negatives to date with this sneaker. I'm really in love with it. And I suggest if you can get your hands on them, definitely do because it's a great addition to your collection. And I have a feeling this one's gonna be a classic. We're gonna look back at these kind of like the Stan Smith. You know how like the Stan Smith is just like the classic sneaker that is back in an uproar now? I feel like this is probably gonna be a classic for Adidas down in the road. So great sneaker to own. And like I said, they're very hard to get, but in the time that I was recording this video, I did find the simple white and the simple black ones at Foot Locker still available. There's only a couple sizes. I'm gonna have it linked below, and hopefully by the time I post this video, they're still available. And you guys can check that out. If not, you're probably gonna have to go to eBay. 
So, that's it for me in this week's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button down below. See you guys next time.